for Scotland who got the option of taking a quick line out. Everybody just checking. A few teams have been caught by that in the past. But in fact, uh, they've gone for the scrum back. Tom Smith on this side, Gordon Bullock at Hooker and George Graham on the tight head. Townsend, dummy runners, Metcalf comes through from the back, Leslie keeps it going, Simpson. Set up for Jamie Mayer. Townsend, they've got men spare out wide. Bullock almost getting in the way, but not called for obstruction. And a knock on by Scotland there. That blur of movement, they achieved so much with it out in Paris in the spring, Scott. But here, not working quite so well. Very, very good defence there from Uruguay, from Kostabi. It was a pity because Scotland's uh, attacking platform off the face ball, there was a little bit flat. Nobody came from depth and hit the ball on the angle. Getting ready, Cameron Murray to take the quick throw, thinks better of it. 10-3. And 16 minutes left. Bullock and they came up with the ball, but it wasn't from the man that they intended to throw it to. It was Martin Leslie who got a hand to it to rescue it. Townsend. <laughs> Leslie in everything, but not forward by Pountney. Well, one of the, the errors creeping into Scotland's game again. It's just, this is the area that Jim Telfer wants to avoid again. Good pass, delayed pass. Leslie goes through, but he tries and flicks the ball up. Butch Poutney just didn't quite get his hands to the ball. Chiara. And pressure on Aguirre, but he gets his kick safely into touch. Aguirre sometimes plays scrum half apparently he's a mighty big scrum half six foot one and a half tall 15 stone big man for an outside half well again it wasn't certain count knee to leslie those two back row forwards working well in tandem wide out in goes Armstrong, burrowing in to get that ball out. And again, coming in from the side, that was Lamey, the second row, but he joined the ruck halfway up. He must come in from behind the hindmost foot. Again, extremely lateral play there from Scotland without anybody coming in and hitting the ball at pace and trying to get deep into that Uruguayan defence. Uh, and also, it was slow ball, hence the penalty. And as a result, Gregor Townsend's just pinned Uruguay back a little bit deeper into their own 22. Gregor Townsend now playing his club rugby at Breathe, that hotbed of rugby in the west of France. That's a better throw. Round, back round the front. Easy stuff. Armstrong in for the try. Well worked, set move, a front peel, and the captain gets the other try, and that's uh, only his fifth try for Scotland in his 49th international. Well, a good try there by Scotland. That was straight off the training park. You could see that the way they executed the movement. It was very, very slick. Here we are with Simpson with a great catch and take. He feeds, note the Uruguayan forwards going round to the side there, but which time Leslie's come back and fed Armstrong going down the blind. Excellent try from Scotland's skipper. Leslie in it again. He was the support man for the back of the line-out who made the 
extra man to give Armstrong the run in. And uh, Gary Armstrong's piece of music ready to go from Republica. Kenny Logan. The Wasp's Wing. Well, he's striking the ball very well indeed. That one's over to 17 3, Scotland lead. <laughs> Here's the try again from the reverse angle. Great play by Simpson. Leslie put in the clear and delivers a good pass to Gary Armstrong. I get it. Lovely jump there from Scott Murray. Simpson. Bullock takes it up again. Bit more space this time on the setup. Gregor Townsend. So recycling it again. Oh, and the pass inside was a little too clumsy. Metcalf is back though. And a penalty to the Uruguayans. And it's Alan Tate who uh, the referee says deliberately he just left himself in the way and uh, took the man out. But the hands are up saying nothing to do with me, Ref, but he was properly picked up there and uh, a needless penalty in all honesty. Alan Tate, though, a real old pro, he's had a wonderful career. His debut right back in 1987, one of the Five players there are in this tournament who took part in that 87 tournament. And he then, of course, went to rugby league with Witness. Had 16 Great Britain caps at rugby, at rugby league. And after a nine-year gap, came back to Union, made the 97 Lions tour, scored a try for them in the first test victory. Now 35 years old, but uh, really enjoying his rugby still. And here you can see the Uruguayan tactics that we were talking about. This is little Chiara, who's just to the left of the post, so he will kick right-footed. Over it goes. Well, they haven't looked like scoring a try, but they're still in the game at this stage. 22 minutes gone. 17-6. Scotland lead. Danica gathers it in well. Both the Uruguayan flankers look very useful. Aguirre finds a good touch. But effectively, Scott, they're giving possession back to Scotland unless uh, Scotland make a mess of this because they really haven't got the armour to compete in the line-out, have they? As long as Gordon Buller keeps his throwing in straight and uh, they don't overcomplicate the calls, I think that's what we're looking for, or certainly what Scotland are looking for, and coach Scotland, Jim Telford. Going to the back, off the top from Scott Murray. Townsend, he's just soaring. Take the look and go for that little gap and then look for support inside. Chip and chase from Kenny Logan. Gathered in well there by uh, Mechaka. And he marked it as he caught it. Well, you don't have to be stationary anymore to make the uh, the mark. This touch, Metcalf. Now Metcalf spotting a little bit of space. He's got real pace. And the ball killed by Uruguay. Penalty, Scotland. Ref 
Preet Nicholson just having a chat with Omachia. I can guess what he's saying. I'm sure what he's telling him is that uh, already it's becoming apparent that the Uruguayans are deliberately trying to kill the ball and he's not going to have it. Yeah, this is a tactic that I saw um, Uruguay use against their game against Spain and it has a tendency for the South Americans to go over the top to try and kick the kill ball to stop and here we see Murray going and taking on and Ormachia, the captain, quite obviously, look at him, he's just lying the top of Murray there, he's making no attempt to get off him so that Scotland can release the ball. Well, look to Grimes that time, but it wasn't straight. First mistake from Scotland in the line out, and that's given away a key position. The Uruguayans now at the scrum, 10 metres from their own line. little signal from the referee saying that the front rows went up he's not blaming anybody this time Pablo Lamine and his poker Diego Lamelas Chiara finds Aguirre and he can't make much of a touch from that angle Scotland with another chance inside the Uruguayan 22 whole of the back division apart from Alfonso Cardoso the fullback from the Carrasco Polo Club so they ought to have a good understanding Scott Murray again down the back big drive from the Scottish forwards they really hit the back of that line out with power and pace and are they going all the way not quite and the Uruguayans again all over it they were offside that time penalty to Scotland <laughs> Gary Armstrong just having the ball kicked out of his hand as he tried to take a quick penalty well Gary Armstrong's got a penalty here I would actually take the scrum Scotland are obviously doing well in the scrum here and uh, certainly from the set piece it might open up more opportunity so it's going to be a little tap and go Big drive comes on again. Well, oh, they've almost got the scrum formation there. They must surely get over. And the referee couldn't see it. I think we'll find they probably did get that down, but he was quite right. He couldn't see it. I think that was uh, Stuart Grimes thinking I'd been robbed of a try. Yes, but there's a, a lot of bodies here, and that's the problem sometimes about taking one of these. But quite obviously, Grimes has gone down there and scored a try, and the referee's missed it. Yeah, he had to be around the front to see that one, but our cameras caught it. Desperate defence from the Uruguayans. They've got to be careful, they cannot take the scrum down or up. On goes the big drive, the ball between Simpson's feet. Secondary shot coming on from Scotland. Well held, though, by the Uruguayans. It's gone through 90 degrees, so it'll be reset. Scotland's put in yet again. There's the men having to take all the pressure. Sanchez, Lamelas, and Lamoyne. This time, Metka trying to wriggle over, has to set it up, though. It was a pile up, it wasn't a ruck or ball and it wasn't going to come out, so the referee giving Scotland the scrum again. Well, pressure's still on here, that's important for Scotland. And uh, surprisingly they released that one early doors to the back, so it'll be interesting to see what happens this time, whether the forwards keep it in or whether the backs have another chance. Picked up by Simpson, over he goes. Nobody really laying a hand on him at all. He'll enjoy that one particularly because it's his first try for Scotland. Gordon Simpson, born in Auckland, but resident in Scotland. Well, these tries actually look so easily, but again, the scrummage platform. If you note, the scrum just takes a little shift there on the right, which allows Simpson the space to dive over under the posts. 